All right, lactulose is actually kind of a cool medication. I know that sounds weird to hear me say if you know what lactulose is, but I really like kind of the patho farm of lactulose. So the indication for lactulose is actually constipation or hepatic encephalopathy. Okay, so what hepatic encephalopathy is, is it's a condition caused by the liver that causes neurological changes. And what causes that neurological change is this buildup of ammonia. So protein will come in, protein will go into ammonia, and if our liver isn't getting rid of this ammonia, we will actually cause this buildup of ammonia in our bloodstream, which will cause neurological changes or encephalopathy. So the way that lactulose works is it draws water into the stool and softens the stool, and so by doing that, it helps with constipation. What it also does is it inhibits ammonia from passing into the colon. So if ammonia gets into the colon, it's going to get into the bloodstream and, and continue, you know, with this uh, encephalopathy. All right, by giving lactulose, we can actually draw ammonia into the colon and make it pass out with our stool. And that will help to resolve this hepatic encephalopathy by bringing down our ammonia levels. So therapeutic class is laxative. Pharmacologic class is osmotic. It's used with caution in diabetes mellitus, and it can cause cramps, abdominal distension, and hyperglycemia. We want to assess our mental status and ammonia levels. So if we're giving it for hepatic encephalopathy, we want to closely be monitoring our ammonia levels. Did it actually work? Did it bring the ammonia down? I've seen patients with ammonia as high as three, 400. We give lactulose and it helps to bring it back down to where it should be. The patient should be averaging two to three bowel movements a day if we're giving it for constipation. If our patient isn't constipated, but they have these elevated ammonia levels, we're going to see the patient having a lot of stool. Now, that's not the part I like about it, obviously, but I like that patho farm of it, of how it can get this ammonia out and resolve a neurological issue. I think that's just really cool how the liver, the brain, the bloodstream, the colon all play in together to resolve this uh, hepatic encephalopathy. So you will see patients go into the ICU who might be in hepatic encephalopathy, meaning they have this this rapid decrease in neurostatus. No one knows what's going on. You know, we get them in the ICU, we run this full blood panel, we realize it's their ammonia level. The ammonia is what caused it. They're a liver patient. We realize their ammonia is highly elevated, and so we start giving them this lactulose, and it can resolve pretty quickly. You know, we'll see it actually resolve pretty quickly, but what will happen is that this ammonia continues to rise and continues to rise, the encephalopathy will worsen, and we'll see like our respiratory drive decline and we'll see our patient's response declining. And so it can be kind of a scary state. We might end up having to place them on BiPAP and then we resolve. We can we get this whole, all this ammonia level fixed with the lactulose. So that's really why I've seen lactulose given most often. It can be given for constipation as well. But what I generally have seen it given for uh, in ICU and in step down settings is to resolve these elevated ammonia levels. All right. So that is lactulose. Think ammonia, think liver. Think uh, stool, and that's going to help you remember lactose forever. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.